Washington. And as crime continues to plague Baltimore, so does the war between, of words between Maryland's Governor Larry Hogan and the city state's attorney, Marilyn Mosby. Mosby holding a news conference today responding to the governor's request for data from her office. Along with issuing a racially charged critique of the governor, this all comes three weeks after he publicly attacked her and her prosecutors, the two continuing to blame each other for the city's violence. WJC is live. Annie Rose Ramos has the latest in this ongoing fight. Annie Rose. Vic and Denise, back in November, the governor threatened to withhold the funding to Marilyn Mosby's office if he didn't receive more data to evaluate her office's work. Well, today, Mosby said that data was always available to him and sent him a letter along with 30 pages of data, along with implying that his refusal to meet with her, along with other black leaders of the city, is not only unproductive, but also racist. The governor has been coming for me for seven years. Fighting back in the wake of the governor's words. He continues his incessant dog whistling attacks about Baltimore crime. City State's attorney Marilyn Mosby supplying the data the governor demanded last month, threatening without it he'd withhold funding to her office. All of that state funding will remain pending. His actions are purely political. Mosby also requested an audit Tuesday to take a closer look at state agencies like the Department of Juvenile Services, claiming the governor's mismanagement of them is causing the uptick in crime. Many of the city's problems can be laid at the door of the state agencies that he oversees. Last Friday, over a dozen people were shot in Baltimore. It's out of control. The governor on Fox News Sunday saying part of the problem is Marilyn Mosby. We have a prosecutor in Baltimore City that refuses to prosecute uh, violent criminals, and that's at the root of the problem. Mosby says the governor refuses to meet with city leaders, but instead blamed them. In his time in office, he has blamed the mayor, the police commissioner, the judges, city council, and even the state legislature for the crime in Baltimore City. Now is she calling a truce and extending an olive branch? I, along with my talented prosecutors, stand ready and willing to collaborate with the governor. Now, in regards to what Mosby said today, the governor's office, his spokesperson, said in a statement, this is just sad at this point for her, for the city, and for the state. Now, I also spoke with the mayor's office, who says they did plan on meeting with the governor this week to discuss the city's ongoing violence and crime. But, of course, they had to cancel because the governor now has COVID. But the mayor's office did tell me that they plan on rescheduling as soon as possible, and they hope to have that meeting before the end of January. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.